AI-based facial recognition technologies are a handy tool in controlling and limiting access in many applications. AI-based technologies provide very specific advantages compared to manual systems. These systems can monitor suspicious activities and movements and also provide advanced analytics for private spaces. So in today's experiment, we are going to build an AI-based gate that will work on car recognition. In this, we will create an AI model that can recognize car from the background and a mechanism that will operate the gates based on the signal. Let's get started. Take two one-hole beams, one five-hole beam and one mm coupler and join them. Repeat this step with these parts to create two more pieces like that. Now take two five-hole beams and attach them to the previous structures. Take two three-hole beams and one five-hole beam and connect it. Repeat this step to create another piece like that. Now join all the pieces together to create the gate door. Next, we will build a hinge. Join a one-hole elbow and a male axle coupler. Attach it to the gate. Now take another one-hole elbow, a BO shaft and a 30mm axle and join them. Join it to the gate via the male axle coupler. For the frame of the gate, take six five-hole beams, two one-hole elbows, an mm coupler and a one-hole beam and join them. Now take four three-hole elbows and join them to the gate frame to make it stable. Take three one-hole beams, two one-hole elbows and an mm coupler and join them. Connect it to the other end of the gate frame. Take an mm coupler. Two one-hole elbows and a servo shaft connected with a servo shaft brick. Join them together. Take power blocks connected to the battery. Join it to the servo blocks and adjust its position to the leftmost point. Connect this to the servo motor via the servo shaft. Now disconnect the power. Attach the servo to the gate frame. Now connect the gate to the frame via the one hole elbows.
Attach the battery to the battery holder and connect it to the frame. Let's assemble the logic. Connect the power blocks to the servo blocks and test out the movement of the gate via the servo. Attach two blocks holders to the gate. Now create the logic by joining the power blocks, the AI vision blocks and the servo blocks. There are two main steps to use the AI vision blocks. First, we will see how to connect AI blocks to the internet. Turn on the power blocks. When AI Vision receives power, it will create its own Wi-Fi network. This will be indicated with a blue light on the AI blocks. Now go to your phone's Wi-Fi settings and connect the phone to the WITAI Vision Wi-Fi network. The Wi-Fi configuration page will automatically open up. Now go to configure Wi-Fi. The page will list down all available Wi-Fi networks. Select your Wi-Fi network and enter the password. And click on Save. If the password is entered correctly, it will be indicated with a red slash green light on the AI blocks. Now connect your phone back to the internet using mobile data or Wi-Fi, not the AI Vision 1. Now comes the AI model training part. Go to ai.witblocks.com. Click on the visit app option and allow all authorizations. Now click on the train option. Enter the unique code on your AI blocks and click link. For the training part, enter car in port 1. Once entered, keep a car in front of the camera and click train at least 20 times. Now enter no car in port 2. Once entered, show a plain background in front of the camera and click train at least 20 times. Now when the car is visible on the camera. The prediction on the AI site will show, car, and the gate opens. When you show the background it will predict, no car, and close the gate. Along with the prediction, the light on respective port of the AI blocks will turn on. At a time, AI can detect only one object and trigger one output port. Our AI gate is now ready. Turn on the power blocks and voila our gate operates whenever it detects an oncoming car. Once the car has entered the compound, the gate detects the background and will be closed. This type of mechanism can be used for crowd control, smart parking management systems, toll booths, level crossing barriers in railways etc.